However, the fact that the witness was at the inner sanctum is crucial testimony indeed. And it certainly warrants further explication. Explication. Therefore, let's continue with more testimony. Oh boy, I can't wait. Whoa! Can't wait for more lies! That's right! Oh, jeez. Right, okay. Why was that the inner sanctum? That evening, I was enjoying a trek through the night sky with my homemade paraglider. But just as Mount Pony Pony was drawing near, something terrible happened. An accident forced me to make an emergency landing at the inner sanctum. As I landed, I banged my head, causing me to lose my memory. So you see, I ended up in the inner sanctum purely by accident. What? What the fuck? Mr. Amos, you failed to mention any of this during your pre-trial questioning. Can't be helped. I mean, I'm just remembering it now. And whose side are you on? It's on nobody's side. Continue such slip shod testimony and you will be cast into the hell of hangnails. Oh, shit. Where you shall have hangnails grown and ripped out for 800 million years. Dang. Uh, I think I'll pass on that. Looks like that caught Prosecutor Sadmari off guard. This is my chance to rip his case to shreds. <laughs> oh, that was a weird lag. Did you see that where it said rip? <laughs> That's my chance to rip. Like a Beyblade. All right, let's let it rip then. I mean, I I'm just pressing everything. I don't even believe none of this. That evening I was enjoying a trek through the night sky with my homemade paraglider. Why didn't you say that before? You were enjoying a trek through the night sky with your homemade paraglider? You didn't go to pray? Devout Curinists like me can pray anywhere, even while flying through the sky. But I wouldn't recommend you try it. You're bound up to end dead. Ha 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 ha. Paraglider? I didn't see anything like that. That's because of the ritual curtain. It blocked your view. No, it didn't. Paraglider would have been above them. You should have seen me majestically soaring between the mountains. Really? What do you think, Nick? Don't ask me. Yeah, I'm, I'm flying by the seat of my pants over here. I was really enjoying that flight. At first, anyway. Why, what happened? Well, he talks about an accident, but I wonder if we can find out what it is. Just as Mount Pointy Pointy was drawing near, something terrible happened. Holy. All right, tell me about that. Something terrible happened? Exactly. And when I say terrible, I mean terrible! What? Is there something unexpected near Mount Pony Pony? Uh, wait, what was it again? Oh. Aunt, sir! But you don't remember? Uh, let's just say it was terrible. Oh, brother. Oh, no, come on. An accident forced me to make an emergency landing at the Inner Sanctum. Well, can you tell me more about that? exactly was this accident you had? Good question. Now, what was it again? Uh, wind? Oh, yeah, it was the wind. And not just any wind, but a sudden gale force wind. It made me lose control. What? We only saw a little bit of wind on the top of that, didn't we? The wind was strong enough to make you lose control? Yeah, you got that right. Okay. Please add that to your testimony. Wait, the wind? Okay, wait, hang on. Do we have anything that proves that there wasn't wind? Gale force winds came out of nowhere and made an emergency landing at the sanctum. Hang on, do we... Do we have anything that shows that? Newspaper, what does this say again? Battle rebels. Purification right. Escape prisoner alert. Remember, we do have that as well. From that peten penitentiary. Oh, the weather forecast. The area around the inner sanctum will be calm, clear skies. We'll see a cold front moving overnight. Wait, does that, hmm, does the cold front mean that there's wind? Oh no, I don't know now. But that has the weather on it. So you, mm -mm, I don't think cold front means gale force winds, does it? Objection! Oh shit, here we go, okay. Yeah, sir. We have a saying in my country, Mr. Imus. One lie begets another. Huh? Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means someone caught lying will lie again in an attempt to conceal their first lie. In other words, this current testimony is just a blatant lie you're telling to cover your tracks. Oh, shit. What did you just say? You claim that gale force winds cause you to lose control. But this newspaper has the weather report for the day of the murder. It says the area around the inner sanctum will enjoy calm, clear skies today. B -b 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 Penguins! Why, well, I do believe it does say that. Here we go, this music! 
One lie begets another. That makes sense, but is it really a saying back home? I've never heard of it. I was gonna say, I don't remember it. Yeah, I, I kind of made that one up. Oh. No, for real? Your Majesty, the witness's testimony contains another flaw, one that's even more fatal to his cause. More fatal, you say? The defense will explain himself at once. Mr. Immis claims that he was flying up around the inner sanctum with his paraglider, but it would have been impossible to get all the way up there without any wind. Why, yes, I believe you're right. Exactly. But we know the witness was at the inner sanctum, so... Mr. Emus, how did you get there? And from where? Uh-oh, what are you gonna say? Because he dropped down. That would have made more sense. He could have floated easily, even with a little bit of wind. Without any wind, he couldn't have flown up there from the bottom of the mountain. By process of elimination, the only starting point that makes any sense is... Yep, you right, Phoenix. I think so, too. Your Majesty, I believe I have the answer to your question. Damn, why is this music so good? I'm turning it up for this episode. I hope that's okay. To reach the inner sanctum, Mr. Emus must have launched himself from here. It's gotta be the prison. It's gotta be up here. Right here. Oh, Baba! Are you insane? That's where he came from? If he couldn't have come from below, the only other option is from above. <laughs> That's what he said. Wait, what? So as you see, Anonymous came down from Royal Penitentiary number four. From there, he could have easily reached the inner sanctum by parachute. And that means he might have also killed the high priest. What? Mr. Emus, were you the third party at the inner sanctum? And the one behind the warning to halt the right that the victim received? Was it you we saw in his final memory? Are you the rebel hunter, Lady Kira? Whoa! Oh dear. Yo, let's fucking go. Oh, this is getting exciting. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, sir, help me out. What are you gonna do? Beautiful, you got anything? I don't think he does. I think he's just thinking. You did it. You finally left him speechless. Oh, come on, Mr. Prosecutor, man. Quiet, you fool. You should use this time to prepare yourself for what is to come. Oh, he knows. He knows. He should have known in the first place that this was gonna come out wrong. For a fate far worse than Hangnail Hell awaits you now. Oh. Well done, defense. I must concede this point to you. Yeah! The witness did in fact descend to the inner sanctum from Royal Penitentiary number four. Wait, you knew? Wait, he didn't even put up a fight? That's awfully generous of him. Did he know or did he not know? Or is he just going with it? But if you are perceptive as you seem, then surely you've already figured out the riddle. The riddle of Anonymous's true identity. He's obviously whoever broke free from the penitentiary. Oh, uh, his true identity? I'm not sure I know quite yet, but I guess I'll have to answer with something. It would seem that I'm the only one still in the dark here. Would the defense care to enlighten me? Who is the man we've been calling Anonymous? Wait, do we have, do we have that? The witness's true identity is, uh-oh. Um, uh, uh, bloodstained letter, but we couldn't read that, right? Photo, my statement, the warning paper, or bad arrow. Wait a minute. A wanted poster describing the escaped prisoner, but it doesn't look like him at all. Whoa, wait, read this! Senior member of insurgent leadership, former paratrooper! So this boy knows how to use a parachute? Yo, that might be enough right there. Could he be in disguise, perhaps? I mean, it's all we've got. Is this really him? It doesn't look like him, does it? But that shag and beard are so weird, one of two things has happened. He's either in disguise, or he's been in prison so long that his hair grew out. Right? <laughs> Only now do you realize the truth. Nayuta, did you know? Were you just waiting for me to find it? Why? Well, please do share with us your belated insight. Um, what's wrong, Nick? Just say it. Because this isn't going to be very helpful to our case. Oh, true. Well, really? Are you sure? Unfortunately, I've got no other choice. Uh-oh. 
That scruffy beard and shaggy mane completely threw me off. But it's all becoming clear now. The nighttime base jump from the mountaintop prison. The precision landing at the inner sanctum using only a homemade parachute. Right, something a paratrooper could do. I totally overlooked that. You got it? <clears throat> only a paratrooper, or more precisely, a former paratrooper could have pulled that off. This witness is Dats Arabal, prison escape. <gasps> I forgot the fucking person was Dats. Ooh, right. Because they've talked about him before. Uh-oh. Did it say on the record? I can't press it now. Because we're in a cutscene. The witness is an escape prisoner? Did it say on there and I just overlooked it? Like a moron wasn't reading? Wanted poster. It says it right there. That's all Paul. <laughs> it didn't even look. Ah, uh, but we, we knew that he was, yeah, we knew that he was a fugitive though, so yes. Precisely, the police have been scouring every corner of the city to no avail. Meanwhile, here he was under our noses the entire time. <laughs> Didn't think anyone would see through my clever disguise. <laughs> but the witness of Sherad is not all that has been shattered. Is it defense? Boy, do I hate this guy. Please recall the defense's own words. Uh-oh. Whoever sent it clearly meant to threaten the high priest. The letter said, do not perform the rite. But the rite went on as scheduled. I believe that's why the high priest was murdered. Who do you suppose sent that letter? He sent it. The person with something to hide. The rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. <clears throat> Uh-oh. He claimed the real killer was the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. Yeah, and what's your point? Yeah, this is bad, I think. Uh-oh. What of the witness's true identity? Only a paratrooper, or more precisely, a former paratrooper could have pulled it off. This witness is Dats Arbal, prison escapee and key member of Dirk's rebel group. Oh, right, Daddy Dirk. Oh no! Uh oh. He is a rebel and an escaped prisoner. He could not have possibly been Lady Kira, mortal enemy of the rebels. No! Yeah, that blows that out of the water, doesn't it? Oh shit, what do we do now? No. Perhaps the witness will enlighten us to the truth. This is why he's not worried. After all, he has yet to refute any of it. Oh, Baba! What are you gonna say? We're running we're running long on time, but I wanna see what happens. I'm the razor sharp fangs of the defiant dragons. Oh shit, really? That's our ball! Seriously, dude? Oh Jesus. When did you get your memory back? Oh, around the time you guys were talking about there being no wind. But you gotta give me credit for making up all that testimony off the top of my head. Are you prepared to tell us the truth now? <laughs> well, it's true I parachuted down to the inner sanctum. But I banged my head on impact and ended up unconscious outside the original curtain. In short, all my eyewitness testimony was a big fat lie. Great. A big fat lie? Are we gonna, are we gonna take that as truth though? Oh, and by the way, long time no see, UT. Wow. You guys got some history? Wait, they know each other? Your Majesty. This filthy rebel belongs in a jail cell. Oh, oh yes, of course. A bailiff, seize him at once. Oh, seems you really have forgotten the will of the dragon, huh, UT? What? Yo, wait, what? <gasps> Utah! Don't tell me! But I haven't, and no dogs of the Garan regime, <laughs> regime are gonna lay a finger on me. alley -oop. Did he just fucking run for it? How did that happen? There weren't guards at the door? Oh, great. Deploy all available resources. I want all units placed on high alert. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh no! There's gotta be a continue here. Wait, there's not? Hello? 
Wait, was that my to be continued? Okay. That was just a black screen for two seconds. What do we do? Oh, we're at 47 minutes. Um, uh, uh, um. The police force has been placed on high alert. He will be caught before long. Maybe it's after this? An escaped prisoner who escaped the law again after giving a ton of false testimony. Oh, talk about a troublemaker. You really pulled a number on all of us. What was the point of all that anyway? Well, I can't help but feel that the entire episode was an enormous waste of time. Woohoo! Yay! My shit's a waste of time. Me too. Your Majesty. Perhaps it was not as great of a waste as you might believe. What makes you say that, Prosecutor Sadmati? That Sarbal dropped something as he made his escape from these halls. What did he drop? Did he? Oh! You know what that looks like? The other piece of our letter. That scrap of paper looks awfully familiar. These appear to be direct orders from Dirk. From Dirk, the rebel leader? Oh, but we only have a small corner of it. Guess who has the rest? Wait, I remember now. Your Majesty, I've seen that scrap of paper before. You have? The scrap of paper that Alba dropped is a part of this. Oh, the bloodstained letter. Look at it. It looks the same, does it not? Yeah, yeah. Take that. And this is? I found it at the scene of the crime. It appears to be a copy of the order that Mr. Albrall dropped. If we put the two together, we should be able to read what the order says. Look at that. No shit. Oh my, and just what does it say, Mr. Wright? I can't read that shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't ask me. I, I can't read Kearney's. Uh, Prosecutor Sadmati, if you please. The ignorant lawyer is not bothered to learn our language. Very well, then. I've only been here like three weeks. What? <laughs> I just see a laundry list, eh? Fucking funny every time. I don't know why. I do not understand. Well, what does it say? Using the lamp lights as a landmark, he was to parachute down to the inner sanctum. Upon the rite's completion, he was to don Lady Kira's robes and make his escape. What? That is how he was to escape from prison? So, if I were to assume that Mr. Albar was the one that killed the High Priest, then maybe it was because Abbot Enmi tried to thwart his escape plan. Oh, foul lawyer. I'm afraid that is simply ludicrous. Huh? But I didn't say anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't we just think that? Without my inner monologue, please. I know how your putrid mind works. Oh, shit. Do you know everything I've been thinking about you so far? <laughs> Embarrassing. Unfortunately for you, however, now that the Rebels' escape plan has been revealed, it is clear that Dots Arbal is not the High Priest's killer. How can you be so sure? Wait, does he have something? I don't get it. If only you would use that putrid brain of yours every once in a while. Dots Arbal's plans could not have worked without the help of a certain individual. What... what do you mean? I am speaking of Abbot in me, of course. Had Dad Zarbal simply donned Lady Kira's robes and made his escape, he would have been far too conspicuous, but were he by the High Priest's side... <laughs> the faithful citizens praying in the plaza would have had no cause to suspect anything. Oh! It is therefore unthinkable that Dad Zarbal was the High Priest's killer. Oh! Oh no! Wait, does that mean there's another person? So then you're saying the High Priest was a- Oh, I cannot bear to say it! I am afraid it is so. He numbered among the rebels who threatened our kingdom. Really? Wait, you knew about this? How could this be? Or is he just figuring it out now and he has to, like, accept? High Priest a rebel? There must be some kind of mistake. Uh-oh. Let it go and move on. Okay, Elsa. Accept the truth that is the only way. And that goes double for you, Defense. Cease your futile battle now. And why should I? Because I will now put the final nail in the coffin of the accused. Now that we have eliminated Dots our balls from our list of suspects, there is only one person that still remains. The accused, my... Yeah, he's doing everything to get her convicted. Wait, Phoenix, what you got? 
Hold it right there. Aren't you forgetting something important? Something important? Please do explain, Defense. We can't end this trial without looking into the arrow. The, mur the arrow? The murder weapon? It's gotta be the third party because there was definitely somebody else there. And if it wasn't that guy, then who was it? <sighs> can't be these two, surely. I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm talking about the true identity of Lady Kira we saw in the seance vision. If that wasn't Dots Arbal, then who was it? What are you sighing about, darling? You don't think so? That matter has already been resolved. Has it? It has? What's he talking about? It is as I have maintained from the start. There was no third party in the seance vision. Objection! But we saw it. But there was another Lady Kira there besides Maya Faye. We all saw her. No, 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 don't give me the, no, don't give me those. I don't want those. No, I can't do my finger point. Oh no, <laughs> jeez. Oh dear. Ugh. Ah! No, that's, listen, that shouldn't be allowed. That's craziness. Get your bonded shit out of here. It is time to let it go and move on. Your fate has already been sealed, much like your arm. This hardly seems fair. It is quite simple once you consider where the victim and the accused were at the time. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry we went so long. If the victim was near the spring with his back to the accused, what would he see ahead? Besides the water itself, there is nothing but the Warbod statue. Precisely. The Lady Kira we saw in the seance is the Warbad statue draped in her sacred robes. What? Then why would he rush towards her and get killed? The accused wanted the false Lady Kira to appear in the seance vision. Before she came from behind and stabbed the victim with the dagger in a reverse grip. But why would the accused want to do something like create a false Lady Kira? To show it to the victim as he was being slain. I don't think about... Mm, I don't know about this. And what reason would the accused have to fool the victim she was about to kill? It was not the victim she was trying to fool. It was this very court itself. Oh, no fucking way, dude. Suspicion would not fall on the accused if it looked as if another Lady Kira was there. Boy, I see where he's going with this, man. He's trying it. And the defense was foolish enough to fall for it and claim it was a third party in disguise. Are, are you saying? I am. It was all a cleverly wicked scheme perpetrated by the accused. Well, you got those back, did you? A scheme in which she sought to use the seance vision to mislead us. What? No way, dude. No. What about what about everything else, though? What about, like, the fucking letter he got? This can't be happening. What a face you're making, Defense. I am surprised you're taking this so hard. Oh shit, wait, what? Oh wait, send that to me, please. <laughs> after all, did I not clearly state a while back that you were chasing after naught but a deluded fantasy? I'm still chasing that fantasy with you. <laughs> Something has occurred to me, you see. And your allegations of a third party are but a deluded fantasy. Yeah, I remember. You said the same damn words and everything. Telling me he knew this was how it turned out the whole way? And that he was just waiting for the moment to spring it on me? Oh boy. He's more dangerous than I let on. Like, he's more dangerous than I thought. <laughs> Do you understand now? I have had you dancing in the palm of my hand this entire time. That's why he wasn't worried. It can't be. This is an outrage. You took our royal priestess's sacred divination seance and used it to commit this most foul and despicable murder? No! I did nothing of the sort! Maya... Nick, it's not true! I... I didn't! Cease this ugly display. Your fate is sealed now that the facts have been exposed. Oh shit, let's expose something else. Your Majesty, the time has come to convict this criminal who only seeks to taint this sacred hall. Indeed. Seems this trial is over. Wait, no, we can't be. 
Does the defense wish to offer up yet another counter-argument or something? Um, the accused is, uh, is not the killer, and, uh, here's why. Now what do I do? I've got nothing. It would appear that the defense has run out of arguments to make. I thought for sure the rebel was the killer. The only person with a possible motive, the one dressed as Lady Kira, has vanished. And I've got nothing to use against Prosecutor Sabmati's argument. Damn it! I can't lose now! Not like this! Very well, then. I shall now render my verdict. What do we do? Wait! Please wait! I'm begging you! It is time to let it go. And move- Oh my god. Phoenix begging those shit! Jesus! This trial need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. Now then. This court finds the accused Maya Fey and the defense Phoenix Wright. What? What? Wait, what? He said the words. Phoenix, he said them. I was waiting for a hold it or a stop or an objection or something. We didn't get nothing. Your Majesty, please forgive the interruption, but... Wait, what's this? Hello? What is the meaning of this? A body has been found in the Plaza of Devotion, Your Majesty. What? What's this? A body? What happened now? We found this sticking out of the victim. Why, that's Lady Kira's warbat dagger. Oh shit, hasn't that been missing? Oh no! <clears throat> Lady Kira, she's returned from the Twilight Realm once more. She's come to defeat the rebels. Peace. Well, it would seem the dagger that was once lost has now been found. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor said, Madi. Yes? This dagger. What about it? What's wrong? It bears the fingerprints of Maya Fey on it! Huh? What? Wait, how is that possible? But... Why would Maya's prints be on it? Uh oh That's really bad. I cannot believe it, yet it must be true. Is something the matter, Prosecutor Sadmati? This trial has run its course, and the accused's guilt has been firmly established. However, it would seem that the defense was right about one thing. I, I, I was? How could someone have been killed if she's here? You claim that the murder at the Inner Sanctum had been carried out by the rebel hunter masquerading as Lady Kira. I did say something to that effect, but what of it? Prosecutor Sadmati, are you suggesting what I think you are? I believe the true identity of the rebel hunter who has been masquerading as Lady Kira is none other than the accused, Miss Maya Fe What? No fucking way, dude! What? Me? What? Oh no! How did it go from worse to even worse? This is awful! I realize how shocking this must seem. Looking back, however, I now realize that there was much that pointed to this fact. The rebel hunting Lady Kira was first sighted about two years ago, and the accused first came to our kingdom two years ago as well. Oh, wait a minute, no! Why, the timing matches perfectly. But there is more. That warning letter was found in the high priest's bedroom three days before the riot. Despite his house being locked up tight that Objection. night. Oh no, oh no. How does that prove anything? Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. It is difficult to believe an intruder could have found a way to enter such a secure house. However, the accused was known to come and go freely there. Mainly to prepare for the purification rite. Uh, yeah, she stayed there sometimes, didn't she? That's bad. Abbot Emi was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind, even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house whenever I was between training sessions. Uh-oh. 
Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. The accused could have easily left the house unlocked for herself without anyone noticing. No! Lady Kira's warning updated in the court record. Only someone entering the priest's home could have delivered it. We assume that the accused was Lady Kira. That more than establishes her motive for killing the high priest. Yes, the victim was secretly an insurgent bent on helping Dad Sarbal escape after all. Precisely. That made him a target of Lady Kira's wrath. Oh, I see how he's trying to spin this. Killing a rebel, but still a murder all the same. And after killing the high priest, she then unleashed her divine justice on another rebel. Uh-oh. So it seems the scope of this case has been expanded. We now have two murders perpetrated by Miss Maya Fey masquerading as Lady Kira. Oh, no! How could this have gone this way? This is like the worst! If Miss Fay is indeed a serial killer, it would affect the severity of her punishment. In light of this, I believe that the second murder must be investigated before we can proceed. As you wish, Your Majesty. Maya Fay, I hereby charge you with this second murder. May your defiled soul fill the weight of your sins. Maya! Not one murder, but two? A new murder charge on top of a guilty- Oh, Phoenix! Seems the defense will live to see one more day. Talk about hanging on by a thread. Oh, she must be devastated. <laughs> Come tomorrow, a far more terrible punishment awaits you. I hereby suspend these proceedings so that the second murder may be investigated. Until the conclusion of this new investigation, this court is adjourned. Oh, guys! Oh, no! Oh, holy crap! Okay, well, there's our continue. Listen, I might split those up. I just might. Because the YouTube algorithm and all that does not appreciate an over hour long thing in the middle of something. For a finale, maybe. But, mm, I don't know. I'll have to see how I feel about it. Guys, whatever I decide. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. Oh, my... I really didn't think it was going to get worse. I mean, I thought we'd have another investigation day because something would come to light. I didn't think it would be this. This is insane. In the next one, we'll start investigation again and hopefully figure out what the hell is going on here. Maya's going to be absolutely destroyed. It'll finish her. Oh my gosh, we got to do everything we can. And you guys, I'm so glad you're here to help me. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo.